Hello, everyone. This is Gilberto from Maverick Media Lab, and I'm on here with Teddy Pendergrass. Uh, he is one of our clients, and he's going to be talking about how he's been able to close eight deals from building his referral partnerships. Teddy, I really appreciate you hopping on, especially it's a Monday. I know you've had a busy day, so we're yeah. uh, we're wrapping up our day here with this client interview. I really appreciate you uh, hopping on, sharing your time. Yeah, pleasure's all mine. Awesome. And just so everyone kind of has an introduction on who you are, uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, you know, how you got into the mortgage industry, what the current situation is now? Yeah, um, I'm a loan officer. Uh, I work with one of the, I guess, largest retail lenders in the country. Um, I personally have been, I started off in the business, I guess, 2001, I did my first deal. Um, I've been at it full time for the last um, three years or 36 months. Uh, I've been in various areas of the financial services sector from accounting to investments to, um, you know, to, on the insurance side as well. Um, and I've, I've really been focusing on the, um, on the mortgage side. Got it. And uh, when it comes to like growing your referral partnerships, what, uh, so what were some of the things that you were struggling with? Like before, like you came across us, like when it came to growing your referral partnerships, what were some of those things that you were kind of like struggling with or were, were a bottleneck for you? Yeah, well, um, in particular, I, I tried, I mean, really, you, 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 it's time, it's leverage. It's the leverage of time, time leverage. Um, something I did not have because I was still building my my team, team out and infrastructure and you know, you can only service uh, so many loans and be on the phone at the same time. So, yeah, um, I was seeking for a solution and wasn't sure what that solution was going to be. Um, so uh, I, I tried a few other companies and um, I did not have any type of success. I gave them my money and yeah, that was that was, that no, was it. No appointments came or what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, no appointments. You know, I, I had to set up. I tried to set up the system myself. It was just different. Um, you know, yeah. you guys were for were much more hands-on and assisted in the process and explained it. And then, um, you know, after I got going, uh, people start, you know, start calling and I was able to set up appointments. The appointments started rolling in. Nice. And yeah. was there anything apart from like, I know that's a very common with our, our clients is like the whole time thing. Like it's, you know, they're strapped for time like yourself. Is there anything else that also was kind of like a bottleneck too, um, apart from time? Yeah, time, just the ability to set the system. I mean, I, I don't, yeah, I don't do, uh, I guess, automated system and follow up yeah. and, and uh, for a living. So just someone understanding that process and what it would take to get a client on the phone um you know was important to me so i didn't know but i you know after having multiple conversations i i took the leap of faith love it and talk to us about like now so like now that the the appointments are rolling in what what does that look like like talk to us about the appointments the results referrals closed deals all that good stuff yeah, so um, I I probably average as far as a, new appointments a month, um, anywhere from eight eight to ten new appointments that I actually get on the phone on a monthly basis, um, and from there, you know, I guess at, at the end of the day, my job is to continue to follow up with them and build a relationship and be good at the initial conversation, um, even when I go out to events people kind of recognize my name already in the area because you guys have done a good job at, <laughs> at you know, sending texts and having, and having uh, an initial conversation. So they're like, oh yeah, Ted Pendergrass. I, I, yeah. You, you know, your, your people are, your people call me and tried to set up an appointment. And, and so that sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah. So that's been, uh, that's, but that was kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's a good effect. And you've been doing it for a while now. So it's like that, that name kind of like already, even if they don't book an appointment for like whatever reason, like, you know, maybe they're on vacation or, you know, whatever reason, they'll still remember that name. So that's a, that's a good benefit there. And uh, cool. So, and what are the appointments been like? So when you, when you hop on with the appointments we set for you, what, what do those typically look like? Yeah. I mean, those people are, they're, they're open to have a conversation. 
And that's really, that's really all I need. I need you to be open to have a conversation and they're expecting my call. They're ready to talk to me. And, um, you know, again, if, if after I get the initial, um, conversation started, if we're able to build a relationship, because it's all about building a relationship and showing them that you can add value to what it is that they're doing. So, you know, again, I ask questions about them and their business. Yeah. I try to understand what they're doing. Um, how are they going about um, acquiring new clients as well and finding out if there's a way that we can partner together? Yeah, that's a that's a key point is like finding like how you can add value to them and and finding like how you guys can work together. That's that's mutually beneficial. Right. Uh, you were there. Yeah. And uh, in terms of results, like closed deals, can you run us through? You don't have to say the exact loan amount or anything like the number of deals that you've gotten so far um, from the appointments. Yeah. Over the last. um yeah, really over the last six months, I probably closed um, eight new deals. Yeah, my average loan size is somewhere between $250,000 and $350,000. Nice. And this is just from like this uh, on top of like what your current production, like this is. Yeah, this correct. System. Yeah, gotcha. correct. And from the different aspects of the system and like the, the service, what have you found to be the part that's the most valuable or like your favorite part about everything? Uh, really, uh, just getting a text and an email saying, Hey, somebody wants to talk to you at 10 AM. Somebody wants to talk to you. I mean, at 10, yeah, 10 AM or someone wants to talk to you at 1 PM. Um, just knowing that while I'm working and doing what I, what it is I need to do, um, it, it keeps my, uh, prospecting going, which I try to do my own time. But again, it's, it's all about leverage. It's all about numbers. It's all about um, improving the communication, uh, outgoing communication. The outbound stuff. Yeah, the more outbound, the more yeah. that's going to be coming inbound. I agree with right. that. Um, that's cool that you mentioned that. That must be like a good feeling, like waking up and then just seeing like those notifications in there. You have a new realtor appointment. Yeah, it is. It really is. It really is. Um, yeah, because I mean, it's, a, it's, and, another, it's another contact. And uh, one thing I, I thought that was interesting, because you had mentioned you already had some prior conversations with like other companies. And I'm sure there's like people that contact you all the time for like marketing. What was it that made you want to like take the leap of faith with us as compared to like, you know, someone else that that might be, you know, contacting you or offering <clears throat> similar things? Um, yeah, I can tell you. I can tell you 100 percent what it was. It was the fact that you guys. Had already built the system. And you, even though I can make some changes or additions or whatever, you listen to what I needed and you were uh, able to plug me in to something that was already working for you guys. So that um, that was important to me because I don't have time. Yeah, I do, I do not have time. Um, yeah, so that was a solution for me and, and my business. Got it. Just having something that was like already working. We don't have to figure it out, reinvent the wheel, just something that was already working. And then yeah. we just plug in and like have the appointments rolling in. Yeah. I don't have to make the word track up. I don't have to set the system yep. up for how many times it's going to connect and talk to the person. No, I mean, after, after our initial conversation and after I, you know, looked at some of the existing copy that you guys had, I might've made a few, a few changes. Yeah. But, um, I mean, you guys just went on and <laughs> you do what you do. And I still, <laughs> I still don't even know how all that you do on the, on the back end. I just know that, yeah. you know, I have other you know, people asking me like, hey, what is, you know, what are they doing? <laughs> yeah. yeah I mean, matter, with... matter of fact, I'm going to, I'm going to make, say one even more. So um, I'm going to say probably in my off in, just in the industry in general, um, you know, advisors, a lot of advisors are used to, I say advisors or mortgage loan officers are used to the calls coming in, but, um, you know, they're, they're down right now. Business is down for a lot of loan, for a lot of loan officers in the business. Mm -hmm. Um, and interestingly enough, my, um, one of my VPs of the company, uh, took me out to dinner or took all the loan officers out to dinner with the idea to say, you know, let's share what each other is doing to see what works. 
and the, the real purpose of the uh, one of the good purposes of the dinner was to find out kind of what I was doing because my numbers, <laughs> my numbers, I'm, I'm not down year to date, you know? Um, yeah, and we're thriving in, in this current market. Wow, that's impressive. So they just like orchestrated it all to like see what's Teddy doing. Um, yeah, that, and I, I don't, yeah. you know, I don't want to be so vain to really say that, but you yeah. know, one, one of the, yeah, one of the, yeah, I mean, one of the things was, hey, what are you doing? You know, can can you share? Can we? Yeah, you know, let's figure out, you know, what's working and what's not working because. Yeah. yeah. No, I laugh because like that exactly. I I had a conversation with one of our other clients, and uh, he has realtors that come in for meetings like physically in the building and then yeah. like the other loan officers they're like also asking him as well like hey what do you what are you doing to like, yeah. what, what are you doing over there man um so yeah it was exactly the the same situation and we, yeah. we've had a couple others in the past that that happened so that's very interesting yeah. um and one thing i always like to ask you know because that the people that are going to be watching this are like you know probably going to be hopping on a call with us and uh considering you know doing um getting more referral partners with us. And so what would you say to someone who's like on the fence um, and considering working with us? You know, they might be thinking about it or they might be like thinking that the market is slow so they don't want to invest in anything. Like, what would you say to that individual? Yeah, I would say um, just really the time value of money. <laughs> I would say time value of money. Like, um, you know, every transaction that, that you give up, it's going to go to, to somebody else. So, you know, just use being able to use leverage to, to have more conversations, I think is the, it would be the benefit to, uh, to working with you guys, which that's what I've found anyway. Yeah. I like your, your mindset around things, the, the time leverage of money. That's the first time that someone had kind of, they, they've said it in different ways, but you, you're the first one that kind of said the time leverage, um, yeah that that word so it's a very good like mindset it's like focusing yeah. on the income producing activities like talking to as many you know warm realtors talking to as many borrowers as possible to be able to focus on on those activities rather than cold calling setting up systems all that kind of stuff right yeah i don't, I don't, mm -mm. I don't want to do that I, I just yeah just just put a just get me the person yeah, <laughs> and, and we can make friends because that's all you do. I mean, we're making friends, we're having conversations, we're doing what's right by people. So if you do that, people are going to send you business, and you're going to solve problems and help people. Yeah, that's just it. get me the the warm realtor partners. Basically, right. yep, awesome. So I think that pretty much wraps it up, Teddy. Once again, man, I know it's a Monday here, and we're about at the end of the day here. So I really yeah. appreciate your time once again, and uh, thank you for your honesty, transparency, feedback on uh on everything you know what we're doing for you i, I really appreciate that yeah thank you <laughs>